Hey, so today's question which I have practiced is symmetric tree. So the question is given the root of a binary tree, check whether it's a mirror of itself. So uh, I think many of you are already expert in this. So I'm thinking that you might already know what it is. But it's still the mirror of itself is like uh, here. So th this is the tree one, uh, tree one and tree two considered. So let's say this is the center of a tree and this is the tree one and this is the tree two. So they should be mirror to each other. So mirror to each other means that it's left is should be equals to equals to its right. Right. Similarly, it's left, which is 30, 33. It's equals to equals to should be its right. And it's right should be equals to equals to its left, right? So it's a kind of a mirror image, right? So we have to identify whether it's a mirror tree or not. And this is the structure of the tree node, which is given that it has a valve and a left node and right node pointer. Okay. So the approach is very, very straightforward. It's a recursion approach I have used. So this is the method which is ultimately called and the root, the root is currently pointing to, let's say uh, here in this case 11. So the starting. So what I've done is I have created a new method. Why? Because I want a pointer to this T1, tree one and the pointer to this tree two, right? So that I can match whether they are mirror or not. So here I pointed to root left, which I call tree one and root right, which I call tree two. Okay. So now what I am doing here is, is very, very straightforward, which we have done. Uh, so what I'm doing is I have T1 at this point, T2 at this point. So what I'm doing it here is I am going to its left and going to its right, right. And then comparing the nodes. Then I am going, when I'm going to its right, I am going to its left and then comparing the nodes, right. So this is, I am doing it here. So validate is symmetric. So I'm going to tree dot left and I'm going to tree two dot right. So I'm going to its left. Then here I'm going to its right. Right. And when I'm going tree one dot right, when I'm going to its right, so for T2, I'm going to its left. Okay. So this is generally what I did, but here we need to add some breaking condition to this recursion. So generally breaking condition is that let's say for a particular node, right? This is also null. This is also null. It's left is null and it's right is also null. It's not pointing to anything, right? So if both are null means return true. Both are null means both are empty. Both are not, uh, both are not pointing to anything. So it means it should be equal, right? Because at during recursion, when you are going to left and there is nothing, you might hit a null. And similarly for tree two, when you are going to its right, if there is no pointer to it, you might hit a null. So this is one of the condition breaking condition when both tree one and tree two is null. It's a true for us. Another condition is that let's say here at this point, right? Like this. So here you are going, so this, let's say this is T1. Let's say this is T1. This was T2 point uh, starting, right? Now you are going to its left and you are going to its right. So right is null, but left is not null. There is a note. So this means that they are not equal. So we have added that breaking condition whether if both are null we are returning true if this condition we pass means either one of them could be null so if any of them is null then it's false right so this condition also we have taken care that if any value present and for anyone it's null again it's a false third condition breaking point is i am checking this uh, node root node value that if they are also not equal or whatever the node, right? If they are also not equal, then also return false, right? And that's where I have added the end condition that if any is false, we will return ultimately the false. So it's a recursion, how recursion works and the time complexity is big go of N, right? 
So, so and space complexity, I'm th- I'm thinking it's also big O of n. Generally, it should be n by uh, so it's a big O of n. One for left, right, and one for right. We are continuously iterating, right? So again, uh, time and space complexity should be big O of n for this one. And I think it's good. I haven't think of any other approach. I think this is acceptable. So, but if you have any other approach better than this one, please do let me know. But yes, I think this has worked out well for me. Yeah. Thank you. Bye.